What's up guys? Welcome to AP9 Reviews. Well today I'm gonna be reviewing Smash Cops from Hutch. It's a universal app and it'll cost you $2.99. And this is a game where you try to arrest criminals and complete a bunch of other tasks. It comes with 22 levels to play through and each of the levels vary with the tasks that need to be completed. Some have you chasing a criminal to arrest him and some have you collecting evidence. And over here in the main menu, you got your Game Center leaderboards and achievements. You can follow them on Twitter and Facebook. Then you can hit here to unlock everything through an in-app purchase. And over here, it tells you how many stars you currently have. And over here is your rank. Right now, it says I'm a rookie. And you got Super Cop. Super Cop allows you to take more damage and go faster. You can use that. And you can earn a free Super Cop. For completing challenge levels but other than that you can just buy it through an in-app purchase and over here you have your garage it shows your current car highlight it and you can change them and you can unlock more cars by collecting more stars then you got your options you can change how the controls work the display the audio there goes credits so let me show you level three where it says pursue and arrest the sedan And the visuals on this game look very nice. And then you just move around by holding it. And you can tap on wherever on the screen to activate the RAM. And once you use the RAM, you have to wait for it to load up. And on top of the cards, it has their health meter. And I just destroyed it. And it gives you stars based on how fast you completed the health remaining on you. How many suspects you arrested. And if you destroy a cop car, it takes a star off. So let me show you level 4, let me go back, and this one says to respond to the emergency dispatch call, Okay, and you can use the RAM sort of as a, just a boost the speed on, um, on levels that you really don't need to arrest suspects. And this is a very, very fun game. I can see why Apple picked it as the game of the week. And I've actually had it for the past week or so. It was released last week, but they had issues, so they took it off the App Store. And I actually completed the entire game and almost got all the stars, but I had to restore my iPad and I lost everything. But yeah, and I just finished the level and I got five stars. So yep, that's pretty much it. Now let me go give you my final thoughts. Alright, so the good thing about this game is that it's very fun and it has a lot of replay value that'll have you wanting to go back and 5 star everything, so that's good. The only thing I don't like about this game is that the screen on the iPad does not adjust. See I cannot rotate it, like if I would flip my iPad, nothing happens, so I would just have to flip it right back over. and. It needs more levels soon because you can easily breeze through all of these. But other than that, this is a fantastic game. My final rating is 4 out of 5 mustaches. Go check it out. It's worth the $3. And I'll see you guys later.